Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 Team of the Season player review on my channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 93 rated Team of the Season Marlos. Now ever since I saw this card announced, I was so excited to try it out just because his normal card and his man in the match card is one of my favourite 5 star skillers on the game. So as you can see in the 13 matches I did play with him, he managed to get me 12 goals from the right mid position. What well, isn't really a bad return, but a lot of the matches the people did quit very early on. So we could have potentially you know, scored more goals in fewer matches. Now moving into the in-game stats, as you can see he's got really good pace, really good shooting, really good passing and also really good dribbling and in the physical category that stamina is very good at 96 um, as you can see he's also got very good long shots you know there's 94 long shots you can definitely feel them in game this guy's shooting is absolutely incredible but the stat that stands out to me is that 99 agility and as I say when it comes down to scaling agility is the most important stat and that is one of the reasons why this team of the season Marlos card is so so good so guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for Team of the Season Marlos, the first pro I could find this card was his dribbling and as you would expect with every 5 star skiller, they usually have a really good dribbling and Marlos is no exception, this guy's dribbling is honestly insane, he keeps it so close to his feet when performing skill moves and he can, as you can see there, you know, just little touches, um, keeping it so close to his body and it's really hard for you know, defenders to dispossess him um, when you just keep the ball so close to him um, and it's really helpful you know, when doing skill moves, especially like with the ball control, um, sometimes players perform the skill moves but they're here like too far in front of them um, so then it makes you know it easy for d defenders to dispossess them but Marlis is able to perform the skill moves really quickly but also keep it really close to him at the same time the next pro I could find this card was his pace now this guy is absolutely rapid um, with his man the match card it was fairly fast but I wouldn't call it you know rapid um, but this guy is just on another level compared to that man of the match card he's just so so fast and he can now beat you know defenders just using pure pace he doesn't even need to use you know use the skill moves um, so say if you're not really a skiller but you still want to try out this card um, you can even just use him you know just to test out his pace um, and then the final pro I could find on this card was his shooting now this guy was so so clinical um, he's got 93 finishing as well in game so you would expect him to be very very clinical um, also his long shots are absolutely crazy as well um, I don't really think I scored many long shots in this video but I definitely had quite a lot of attempts that hit off the crossbar or the post um, as you can see there that's sort of like a long shot I guess you know the way it flies into the corner um, past the goalkeeper so a pretty nice goal there um, and the only con I could really find with this card was his strength now this guy is pretty weak not the weakest of players though um, there are definitely a lot of players on this game and especially five star skillers who are much weaker than him um, you know such as Masonda and Neymar but this guy I wouldn't exactly call him like you know he can sometimes hold his own weight but um, occasionally he does get pushed off the ball as you would expect because his um, physical is only around 73 so he does get tackled you know um, after being you know pushed off the ball fairly often so moving into the key start now he has 99 agility and as we already say you know um, high agility usually means they're a really good skiller um, and Marlos is definitely that he has a medium medium work rate so I didn't find a problem um, but maybe you know a few pros or may like maybe like some people they may find that it does affect his positioning but for me you always seem to be in the correct position um, he has the five star skill moves only a three star weak foot what isn't the best but he seemed fine to me um, he could finish on that right foot just as good as his left foot I didn't really have you know any problems with it and then the final thing with this card is he uses your left footed um, so you know when playing on the right he can cut, on, cut inside um, onto his stronger left foot and then take the finesse shots what I found was really really effective so guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview for 93 rated team of the season Marlos. For enjoyment wise I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. Now this card was just so so fun to use um, and that's why I've decided to give him a 10 out of 10. You know he's just like so enjoyable from his shooting um, to his dribbling to his pace. Just a really good all round card and if you know you're sort of bored of FIFA as I'm sure a lot of people are. Try out this card and it sort of just brings back you know the funness um, back into the game again. Competitiveness wise I'm only going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 and the main reason is just because of that 3 star week for even though I didn't find it a problem I'm sure a lot of people who do play competitive FIFA will find that three star weak foot quite a big con um, but overall you know really good I'll definitely recommend to try this guy in foot champs you know because he's really clinical um, really fast and at really good dribbling um, at skiller wise I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 out of 10 a very good skiller um, one of the best skillers on the whole of FIFA I've tried um, and you know say if you can't afford someone like Neymar I'll definitely recommend to pick this guy up as a cheaper alternative okay is going to be pretty hard you know to fit into your squads um, but you can always use him as like a super sub and then the overall rating I'm going to give this guy a 9.5 out of 10 
So guys, if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.